Flexibility is a key component in any business. Yet in many cases, flexibility means you'll have to compromise on quality. Luckily, the Regis brand provides professional office space in over 3,000 locations worldwide, which allows businesses to scale with the high cost of office space. With Regis, you'll enjoy the amenities of the most beautiful and luxurious office spaces at the lowest price. And today, I had the opportunity to speak with Stephanie Hart, founder of Brown Sugar Bakery, to hear how she has grown her business by maximizing the Regis model. Stephanie, tell me a little bit about Brown Sugar Bakery and why you started it. Brown Sugar Bakery is uh, my baby. I started Brown Sugar because I wanted cakes of my childhood. I was looking for one particular cake. It was a pineapple coconut cake. It's the cake my grandmother made for our birthday and for Christmas. And I missed it terribly. So I got that nailed down. And when people started inquiring about it, I started making other cakes. Red velvet came next, German chocolate, all those cakes. But the cakes that were in my childhood, they were pristine. They were everything. They were these ladies that made cakes that loved doing what they did, um, that presented this food to their family with love. And so I don't know, I had to get that extra little thing going in there and I finally nailed it. And then I developed the line of cakes that people liked. What was that moment that you finally realized that you found the secret recipe? You know what one is, is that I know they put extra moisture in the cake. So the hands were heavier than the recipes that I found that I started with. They always had a little more of something in them. So when I kind of started expanding that, I started nailing it. Like for instance, most recipes in a cake will call for a teaspoon of vanilla. I put tablespoons of vanilla in my cakes. And it's kind of fun because now I realize that baking is really a science. Um, with love. It's science with love at it. What is the specialty of Brown Sugar Bakery that everyone who comes in the door is looking for? Everyone is coming for our caramel cake. We are known for caramel and it is a labor of love. It is definitely difficult to make. It is old fashioned, it is stirred. I mean, there's cauldrons. We've had cameras in our kitchen many times filming the process, like, oh my God, you're really doing this. Yeah, we are really doing it. Um, and that's just the number one. And it's a cake that everyone cannot make. Caramel is, you know, it's, one, it's like gumbo. You know, gumbo is one of those dishes that you, a lot of people make it, but you've only had it a couple times really right. How has the Regis model helped you grow your company? Regis is recent. We opened our second store in 2016 and it was kind of a big move. So our second store is at Navy Pier, which is a really large tourist attraction in Chicago, the largest tourist attraction in the Midwest. So they see 9 million people a year and I've really had to get busy. So there's more paperwork, there's more things that need to be done, more meetings, and it's just really difficult to do it inside my store. Of course, when you open up a bakery, you don't necessarily see yourself growing into a corporation. And the cool part, what Regis adds to me is that corporate environment that I can pay attention to that part of my business because it really is separate. I kind of have to be two people now. I have to be ground sugar, the business ground sugar, and then I get to be ground sugar, the lady that you know can talk about sweets and stuff, but I have accountants and taxes and HR and all of that stuff that has to get done too. So Regis is like the perfect environment for that. And additionally, what I love about it is it encourages me. This is a great environment for me. You know, if a customer walks in, I have to drop everything I'm doing. That's just the way that it is. And all the time, that's not convenient. So being here, I can kind of chit chat a little bit with people walking by, but I can still get my work done either in my office or outside in a more open area if that's how I feel. And it's encouraging to talk to other entrepreneurs that are growing their business. So it gives me a different aspect 
every time I'm here, I get to meet somebody different that's doing something different, photographers, accountants, attorneys. Whereas in my bakery, it's just about the bakery. And I love that, but this is another opportunity for me to grow. What other things do you love about Regis that you wish other people looking to start a business would know? I think for me, it's absolutely that you can start off small. You can start off with a desk and a conference room. You don't even have to do that. You can kind of drop in if you like. I didn't start at the drop in because I kind of need to have a little bit more civility than that. That's just my personality. But for somebody that could work out, I'm sure it does, where they can just pop in and have a meeting. But for me, it's being able to have an office that I can come to and scale if I need to. So for instance, my work areas are small, but if I'm having a meeting with 10 people, I can go use a conference room. It's just really simple to do. I can book it over my phone. I love that. <laughs> also, there's support. You know, I don't have to know about the internet. If my internet goes down at the bakery, that's my problem. <laughs> if the internet goes down here, hey, somebody is going to fix it. <laughs> And, and I, that takes off pressure as well, is that, you know, there are people here to be supportive. When you come into an environment like this that's creative and energetic, that it encourages you. And I'm happy here. <laughs>